the house price series for Australia right back to um, 1860, I think I'm starting in 1890. That's the American versus the Australian. We've simply had a bigger bubble, lasted longer, but it's still going in the same way. Thank you. questions apparently Dan tells me so and Marcus and I've got very bad hearing by the way big voice bad ears Steve great presentation uh, hopefully your slides will appear on the uh, uh, website link that uh, the, uh, the guys pub port from publishing bring up uh, having said that um, have you any idea on the speed of the forthcoming crash, decline, when it might bottom for Australian residential property prices? It depends on how fast people start reducing mortgage debt. We've still got rising mortgage debt, even though it's decelerating. So like if you're, if you're in a car and you've hit the brakes, you're decelerating, you're still going forward. Okay? We're at that stage right now. We haven't got to the stage where we're actually going backwards, which the Americans were in for some about four years. So it's a question of how fast that process occurs. Uh, I've, I took a punt and say that nominal house prices will fall between 3 and 6% this year. And therefore, real prices could fall between 3 and 10%. Now, in the last, uh, from, from June 2010 through to December 2011, the fall in, in real house prices is about 9%, and the fall in nominal is about 4 and, 4 and 5% in that range. So, housing is always a slow moving train wreck. Share prices could fall, as you probably all know, by 25% in one day. They did back in 87. House prices fall more slowly, even the American ones fall more slowly than 10% than, uh, than per annum. But something of the order of 10% in real terms is feasible for a couple of years. Steve, I'm from the other side of the uh, rabbit proof fence on the west coast. Yeah. Can you give us uh, some idea of what's happening, say, um, in this sort of trend? I know this is a global picture, but what, what, what would be the trend? Would it be slower, say, on the west coast than on this side because we're booming over there? I, I, I'm not somebody who drills down to that level of detail. The best bloke there is Louis Christopher from, S, from SQM Research. So if you want to actually get details there, look up SQM Research's website. It stands for square metre. Um, Louis does good work on the volume of outstanding properties. And really what drives a house price correction